Good day, everyone. Uh, welcome to variation, I think it's number six on the walls of the AA bar, constructed by a, a jolly band of students under the guise of AA Law, locally available world well unseen like wit. The, today is our choices from the archive by year five student, Lawrence from Shinjun and also a very distinguished ex-student of the AA who's going to actually show some of his work, uh, who's also a very distinguished member of council, John Andrews. So uh, we're, it's not often members of council get into the bar, is it, John? No. No, and talk about architecture for change and not financial strategies. Yeah. The, the idea is that each, they've each selected work from the AA archive and they're going to perhaps explain why they chose a little, how they think it's contributed to the AA's reputation for innovation, creativity, and experiment, which I know you're all uh, engaged in. Okay, Lawrence, thanks. Uh, oh. um, so, I'm showing two things. Uh, one is a drawing that I originally selected for the Fandango event, so it was on display then. Uh, and then another project which I've kind of found since the original brief for selecting the, the drawings for that event was to do with experimentation. Um, so there's two sort of slightly different uh, approaches to that, that theme. So the first is um, the first drawing is this one, which is a kind of Beaux-Arts analytique from the early 20th century the AA. Um, the next project is then a jump forward in time. It's going to be hard to show this and... Okay. Uh, so this is from the 70s. It's a project by Gillian Smith, who I think is still alive and now works at Field and Clegg Bradley. Is that? Yeah. Um, so it's called A House for Myself, and it's experiment number five. Uh, and the series of experiments constituted her final, this was her fifth year, constituted her final project. So in a sense, she never actually did a final project. She had five experiments, each one testing a certain idea, gradually building up towards something. Um, I've selected two drawings. Um, they're both very closely linked. The first one you can see here in the corner, the big mapping one, is uh, one of my drawings from 1976. The other one follows on uh, into the 1978. So what um, I want to just talk about this afternoon is how I got from Chelsea Art School, um, obviously an uh, art-based uh, way of looking at architecture in the city, um, into coming into the AA and studying here for um, four years. And this was um, my first project, which uh, was a link, a bridge between um, the two different institutions. I was really looking forward to coming to the AA because of its freedom, its experiment, and, uh, and, and the way... I'll, I'll come up to that in a minute. Yeah, it's okay. Now, um, what this is, it's called Blue Brown, and it's um, a kind of a choreographic mapping of a, a route, a journey from the earth to the sky, um, a journey which... Um, is involved in many experiences and, and um, many discoveries. The, for my end of the fourth year, I presented this as a performance piece where, as Peter Wilson said, I'm the only student to climb the AA, the, um, to mount it from the very bottom of Ching Jard into the, the roof line, the, the top of the roof by the barrel vault. I mean, I mean, for me, it's interesting that the issues remain the same. You know, you, you can go back, but the questions and the issues around architecture seem to remain the same, but seem to be looked at in different ways. I was particularly interested in John's uh, reference to uh, where the individual became important. You know, and, and this word immersion. Uh, immersion heater, that's what I'm involved in at the moment with a, a, a failed boiler, so immersion's a, a word. Of, uh, but I have to thank you both for uh, 
presenting yourself, taking the courage, particularly Lawrence, when you're very busy, you've got a tutor on you knocking on your door. Uh, so to take the time to talk about these selections, it's, I really appreciate that. And thank you, John. I think uh, this is a first, isn't it? A member of council actually talking about the, uh, their own work rather than telling other people to get on with it. So uh, it's also interesting that you've both selected uh, hand drawings. Okay, thank you very much all for coming. This is the sixth variation. Uh, there will be no Monday uh, student variation because obviously all students are now preparing for crits. But Paul Shepherd, I'm going to unannounce, Paul Shepherd uh, is going to come in this time next Thursday. Anyway, he's going to talk about the drawings that he did as a student, uh, which was selected by... Uh, a tutor you all know, Mark Campbell, and also a colleague of uh, Paul's will come in, Fred Scott, and the infamous Chris Pierce from the uh, AA's Intermediate School and Distinguished Committee member. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>